Welcome back to part two of lesson 19, when chords of a circle intersect, our homework review. So we're now picking up question number four. In diagram circle of circle O, measure of angle NQM equals 103 degrees. If the measure of arc LP is 30 more than the measure arc, LF, arc MN, then, the measure, uh, then determine the measure arc MN. Show how you arrive at the answer. Now, very important to read our questions very carefully. Okay, so uh, first off, we know we we know the angle measure of LM to be 103 degrees, but we told that the measure arc LP is 30 more than, not 30 degrees. 30 more than the measure of arc MN, which means we do not know what arc MN is. Therefore, we'll call that X, and LP in terms of X will be X plus 30. Now you might say, okay, all right, so how does it help us out? If you remember, we went back to before the idea that the measures of the measures of the uh, of a measure angle formed by the two chords intersect is equal to the sum of the arcs intersected by the angle and its, and its uh, vertical. Uh, again, I have that right here. Okay. In a circle, two chords intersect. The measure of an angle formed is equal to one half the sum of the arcs intersected by an angle and its vertical. Okay. And here, if we're talking about angle APC. We also know angle BPD is vertical. And therefore, the we need to talk about the arcs intersected by both of those angles and take the sum of those angles, so measure arc AC and BD and add them together. So the, we need to figure out both those arcs add together divide by two is equal to the measure of the angle. And so let's go back to our problem. So in this case, we know that angle NQM is congruent to LQP, and those are the angles that intercept these two arcs. <clears throat> So the measure of angle NQM equals one half the sum of the measure of arc NM plus the measure of arc LP. And so we know what NQM is. We know it's 103 degrees. So now, once you write this out, and I recommend writing out the, the, the formula or equation we're going to use, and just fill in the information. So arc NM, we don't know. We call X. But arc LP, we don't know either, but it's X plus 30. We combine that, we can get 103 equals 1 half 2X plus 30. Now, what you can do is this. If it makes you feel better, because you don't like dealing with fractions, you can multiply both sides by two to get rid of the one half. I personally, because I like my numbers a little smaller, I know that the one half will divide, it'll go multiply evenly into two X and 30, or really divide both of them by two evenly. So we're gonna get 103 equals X plus 15. Now let's subtract 15 from both sides. Don't need to bring our calculator in this case. So x is equal to, okay, so this becomes a zero. This becomes a 10, all right, a nine. This is gonna be a <clears throat> 13 minus eight will be, uh, 13 minus five is eight. And we're gonna have here eight, 88 degrees, okay? So we know in this case, the measure of x was a measure of arc, <clears throat> MN was equal to 88 degrees, okay? Using our information here, once we know our relationships, we can use them for our, for our, uh, uh, to help us solve our problems here, okay? So, real nice, very nice, okay? Now let's do question here, number five. Okay, now it's question number five. You had to draw your own diagram here, so just like in uh, question number three. Circle A is a radius of nine units. <clears throat> Point R lies five units away from chord A. 
a chord drawn through R is partitioned by the diameter of A passing through R into two segments. Okay, one of which has a length of seven units. Is the length of the other segment longer or shorter than seven units? Justify your answer. Well, okay, so the key thing, well, first you have to draw a diagram. So we had circle A, and you, you, drew, uh, you drew the you drew a circle and a, draw a diameter going through the circle. And then, so we're going to call this, so we know the radius is 9, so we know that this measurement is 9. And then we're told that the distance from A to R is 5. Now, keep in mind, since point A is the center of the circle, that would mean this measurement here, all right, that measurement would have to be 4. Now, you're saying, how come it's 4? Well, we know that the radius is going to be 9, and so this whole thing is a radius as well. Okay, so let's... Uh, you know, just to make things easier for ourselves, let's add some letters, okay? So, uh, so I'm going to call this point P and call this Q. You don't have to you use whatever letters you like. P and Q, uh, I'm going to use this um, um, M and N. So, we can figure out in this case that PR equals PA plus AR, which really is... 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. QR is equal to 4. And it kind of makes sense uh, because if the radius is equal to 9, the diameter is 18. Okay, now the question is going to be this. So what we have, it says that um, 1 has length of 7. So let's make MR 7. Okay, so we'll let MR equal 7. Okay, so we're going to now set up our, our equation here because when two chords intersect in a circle, when two chords intersect in a circle, that there, what happens is we find out that the, that the, the segments of the, the parts that make up the first chord uh, multiplied each other will equal to the parts of the second chord multiply each other, or the product, if you will. Um, again, uh, my words are not too great. Here is our rule. If two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the parts of one chord will equal to the product of the parts of the other chord. So chord AB here, and in this case, we said chord AB and chord CD intersect at P. Therefore, AP times PB is equal to CP times PD. Notice that the pieces of the first chord multiply together equal the product of the two pieces that make up the second chord. So, for our question here, we're going to set PR times R, uh, QR, and let that equal to MR times NR. And so we'll take our 14 times 4, and is equal to 7 times, well, we'll call it X. Now, 14 times 4, that's uh, 40 plus 16, so we get 56 equals 7X. Okay, 56 equals 7x. And we'll divide both sides by 7. Well, we know if we take 56 divided by 7, we should get 8. So, I had to check just to make sure it's some early in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> is equal to 8. A nice number. And so we say in this case, our answer is the, the other segment... Okay, so we respond in this case, and make sure I use a, a smaller font here in our words, because if I type everything up in my, my, my hand, it's going to be terrible. So here we go. Okay, why I need a smaller font? I want a smaller font. Here we go. The other segment is longer than the first segment that measured 7. Okay? All right? 
Okay, now, and then how we how we figure this out? No, move this out of the way, it's a little easier. So we, there you go, okay. We figured it out because we looked at the relation between the, the chords. Okay, so when two chords intersect, we know that they're, that in this case, that the product of the, or the parts of the first chord must equal the product of the parts of the second chord. And we were able to find the first part, PR, by adding PA plus AR, knowing the relationship between the, the both parts of the PA and AR both lie on the diameter, and therefore we can add the pieces together. You know, we got uh, 9 plus 5 is 14, and the remaining part, QR, had to be 4 as well, too. So, so we end up getting 56 equals 7x, and x equals 8, which is longer than the other piece. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to end part 2. Um, Hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed this, if you found it helpful, please put a, uh, add a like uh, to the video. Make sure you subscribe to get notified when and turn notification on to know when new content is added to our channel, especially if it's helpful to you. Also, please, if you have any other topics you'd like to go over, I would definitely would love to hear from you and may, maybe make a video on that as well, too, if they're totally clarify, clarify things up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching, and I guess always, Take care and be safe, safe.